Hello, welcome back to another Mind Colonies video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the scan tool. Um, great little feature we have of the mod which lets you create your own buildings and structures and things and then scan them in for use with the builder in the mod. Um, so the builder will build anything you can. Um, simply scan it in and put it in the right place in the mod and he will do it. So to use the scan tool um, you can get it in creative from here or well, there is a recipe to build it in game um, which is a very simple recipe which I can't remember but it is on the website and on the wiki um, and I'm not sure if this will actually tell me yes it will there you go there's the recipe stick stick and iron ingot um, might clash with a few other mods actually so we may change the recipe a bit but we haven't heard of any clashes yet um, but there you go that's the crafting recipe obviously make it in a simple crafting station from tinkers or our uh, minecraft um, so that will get you the scan tool now to use it um, it scans in a uh, rectangular box so you have to define the points within which this scan is going to work um, we used to use the dot schematic format for file scanning uh, we do not use that anymore because it was causing us some issues with the in-game rendering of scans and its accuracy and stuff so we've actually written our own file system and our own scanning that um, deals with everything so you can use it for redstone and all sorts of things item frames and such like that it'll handle it um, it will also handle any block or anything from another mod. Um, obviously, when you rebuild the the building in future, you obviously have to have that mod installed for it to build properly. Um, but you can scan in pretty much everything. So the way it works is you scan the box. So from bottom left, um, so this is the you know the front left hand corner of my thing. So this where I'm standing that block that I've just destroyed there is the first block I want to scan so I'm going to dig a hole there um, obviously these torches and that are on the outside you need to scan these air blocks to get the torches in um, so that's my bottom left now you need to find the top right so this is the effectively the top right of the box that I want to scan is that block there so all you do is with the scan tool equipped in your hand you right click the first block you want to scan so obviously you want the floor in this so i want this level here so right click and it says point one saved then don't do anything else just go to your top right block and you right click that point two saved right click again to save the schematic so you've defined the area you want to scan but it hasn't scanned it yet so what i can do is i can delete that block there and change delete anything else you want within that box before you save it and then the next time you right click with this get this tool equipped anywhere in the world can be outside the box inside the box doesn't matter any block scan successfully saved as mine colony scan scan blah 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 dot nbt so nbt is our file format and that's located in your dot mine colonies folder so it's the scan is now saved at dot mine colonies slash mine colonies slash scans uh, and then within the scans folder there is the file name and such so you can use this for decorations so buildings like this that haven't got colony chests in uh, would be classed as a decoration so to use that all you need to do is move the scanned file um, renaming it in the, in the process so you could rename it um, storage room or you know whatever whatever you scan you can name it so you can think of it again in the future um, and you put that from move that from the scans folder into the decorations folder uh, which should be located in the dot mine colonies stroke mine colonies folder a little bit different if you're playing on a server um, won't go into that now but anyone who wants to use custom scans on a server just let us know and we'll explain fully how to do that or i might do a video on that later but that's a bit more in depth for this one um so that's that if you have a if you want to redo the colony building so the builder or the miner all you need to do is have the colony chest or the correct colony chest uh, located in the scan obviously you don't have more than one so don't have a miner a lumberjack and a 
town hall chests say all within the same scan that won't work but just put the scan in scan it as you would normally um, and then you just need to rename the scan the same name as the f building you want to replace so if you're doing minor level 2 it has to be minor 2.nbt with a capital M the capitalization of the file names is important um, so it has to match the original and then you do have to go into the jar assets folder find where the minor 2 is and replace the file within the jar compressed file unfortunately um, not a lot we can do about that at the moment um, but that's the way you do it so that lets you scan in uh, buildings and decorations for you uh, for your own use now to assist with getting some good scans there are a couple of blocks we have added in so these are placeholder block which looks like this and the solid placeholder block which looks like this so as I scanned that if I built this in the desert this building would be surrounded by a tiles worth of grass which wouldn't look very good but if I use this solid placeholder block uh, sorry not the solid block the normal placeholder block it scans in as this and you will see this block when you uh, generate the preview in game with the build tool but what happens is the builder he won't place this block he will leave whatever block was originally there in its place so if it was grass it'll still be grass if it was sand it will still be sand if it was air it will still be air so that means that all these blocks around here would be the same as the biome or the location you built it in. So if this was all cobble or gravel or whatever it was, um, these blocks would remain the same, which is pretty cool. So you can you don't have to have multiple scans per biome. You can have the one scan and it'll look good in all the biomes. So that's that one. Obviously, it doesn't have to be in the ground. can be up here. So... Uh, Although you have to scan these in, if you didn't want the blocks to be replaced in that location, all you do is scan it with those there, and the builder will ignore whatever's these. He won't clear these blocks, he'll leave whatever blocks are there currently there. Now, this solid placeholder block works exactly the same, except if there is air here, it'll fill it in with a solid block uh, suitable to whatever biome you're in so if you're in a desert biome he'll put a sand block there if you're in a plains biome he'll put a grass block there etc etc so what it means is if you build it and it's half uh, solid and half air because you're building on a slope he will finish off the build uh, with the, the relevant block to suit the biome so that helps you not have the building half floating over air or over a cave or something like that so you could scan your buildings with a few layers of these underneath so the building is if you're building the building on a slope for example you've always got some solid ground underneath the actual building itself which will look a lot better um, so that's the two substitution blocks you can use uh, there are lots more applications that you can use them rather than just in the ground there but this is the obvious one this is this in the ground stuff is what these blocks were designed for and put in the mod for in the first place um, but you'll notice the guard towers have uh, the solid placeholder block or the non-solid placeholder block sorry along the sides so if you put the tower against a wall structure it won't wipe out the, the last block of the wall and leave a gap there things like that so let your imagination run wild those of you who like building and like scanning in um, Obviously, we're more than happy to receive your scans um, for use in the mod if you think they're good enough and you want us to include them. Please post the scans as an attachment to a thread on our forums. Um, if you put some screenshots with it, that will help immensely and make it much more likely your building will get included in the mod. Um, yes, yeah, so that is the scan tool. It's very easy to use. Uh, all you need to do is just make sure the files go in the right place for reuse and then when you use the building tool and you go to decorations your when you flick through these your own mods will your own buildings will appear in the decorations and such um, and when you're using the huts obviously you've replaced the normal hut buildings with your own 
So that's it. That is the scan tool. Nice and easy to use. Great addition to the mod. It's been in a while. Um, not many people have used it. So we can tell. Um, so do another video with the current situation and explain this new solid placeholder block, which is a new addition that's coming recently. So have fun with it. Hope to see your creations soon. And uh, thank you for watching. More tutorial videos coming up soon. Good night.